Hello everyone. As you may already know or have experienced, our Tradesman's teams have been creating many unforgettable and unique vacations in some of the world's most attractive destinations for more than 20 years now. In doing so, we have inspired our members and guests to connect, feel alive and experience life to its fullest. Over the past two decades, we have had the privilege of spending our lives in many of these spectacular locations around the globe. Whilst doing so, we have sadly witnessed the drastic decline in this precious planet's fragile and often delicate ecosystem. The reality and disappointing truth is that the planet's oceans and the environment is being destroyed by man. Yes, it sounds like a bold statement uh, and it's quite often hard to swallow. However, we feel that it's not too late. We still have the chance to effect change. We can participate in this shift and take responsibility for our actions. Tradements is an environmentally conscious company. We actively encourage and suggest ideas to our guests and crew to reduce their environmental footprint from the moment they step on board our yachts. We continually review the sustainability policies of our operations and the impact we are having on the environment and local communities around the world. We are pleased that our eco-conscious decisions have been well received and supported by Tradewinds members and guests. We all play an essential role in the protection and preservation of our marine environments. In this video, we would like to introduce you to the next generation in the Tradewinds family and see how they feel about the world as it is today. I'd like to introduce you to my daughter, Samantha. Sam, tell us your thoughts about the environment. Hi Magnus, hi May. I'm so happy to be making this video with you. This year, 2020, is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day and the focus is climate action. This movement began 50 years ago, which, wow, is a long time. Apparently, it was already evident way back then that the Earth was beginning to struggle. I love the planet. She's beautiful. She's wondrous. She's full of magic. But when I look at the current global situation, it seems to me that humanity may be on a plan to self-destruction. It's obvious that our behaviors and our actions deeply affect our planet. She's been here for a very, very long time. I just don't know how much longer we will be welcome. It seems as though Mother Nature has started rejecting us. Her oceans are being destroyed by pollution and chemicals. Her islands hit with stronger hurricanes. More earthquakes and tsunamis, unbearable summer heat and droughts. More and more species are becoming extinct as they lose their habitats. It would seem that with all of these events, Earth is trying to tell us something. It is evolving, adapting. Our world is changing. If we are to remain as guests on planet Earth, we must learn to evolve and change our behaviors. But as a species, apparently we need something more, like a global pandemic, which has now caused everyone in the world to pause what they are doing and has taught us to live differently. Absolutely, Sammy. This pause due to the coronavirus pandemic has brought our society to a complete standstill and has certainly affected each and every one of us. Though it has negatively affected us in many ways, these last few months have also shown positive impacts on the environment. As emission levels fall, air pollution has quickly decreased and animals are returning to the natural environment. Somehow it feels like the old normal was perhaps not so healthy on some levels. Perhaps in our rush to return to normal, we should use this time wisely to reconsider which parts of normal are worth rushing back to and which parts we should transform into something better and more sustainable. But maybe this pause will be just what we need for people to change their behaviors and realize that the choices and actions we take really do impact and change the environment. As the theme for Earth Day 2020 is climate action, I would like to talk to the other kids in Tradewinds to see what they think about the environment. That sounds wonderful. Let's bring some other folk from the Tradewinds family into this chat, shall we? Hello everyone, how are you? <laughs> Wonderful to see all of you. The Tradewinds family is spread across the world and it's so awesome that we're all connected for Earth Day. Can you all please share with me what you love the most about nature and hope to enjoy forever? I like going on holiday and swimming in the sea and going to beaches. 
hope to be able to do that forever. I like flowers because they're pretty. I also love jaguars. I can kill a crocodile. Is it tigers or jaguars? Okay, swimming and snorkeling and seeing wildlife. My favorite wildlife is bats. My favorite kind of animal. Okay. I'd say the wolves. Well, what Dayla and I most love, and she's she's told me all about this in Gaggle, Baby Gaggles, is that she loves the ocean, just loves being in the ocean, swimming in the ocean, in particular surfing in the ocean. So we can't wait to go surfing together. So we hope the ocean stays clean and healthy for us to enjoy surfing together for many, many years to come. Something I love doing and hope to enjoy for the rest of my life is diving and snorkeling. I like diving and snorkeling because you can see lots of different types of fish, other sea creatures, plants, and coral. Would you shush? Thank you. Well, animals, obviously. Every yes. day now, species of animals are are going extinct, especially polar bears with the with the global warming. I love the views and the sights and visiting places like mountains, deserts, oceans, and just, I, and just so many other places I would love to see and hope they would always be, always be there for me. And yes, you may go. The thing I like about nature is that it's beautiful and the thing I would like to enjoy forever flowers. What I hope I can do forever on the planet is to keep planting trees. I love everything about nature. Everything was put on this planet for a reason. And that is why we are all obliged to respect it, not destroy it. I can remember these dreams. I hope that someday they'll be clean enough to drink. Ah, why are the Thank you so much, everyone. Now another question. What concerns you about the future of our planet? Something that concerns me about the future of our planet is the amount of greenhouse gas going up to the ozone layer and heating up the Earth. I think that global warming is a big threat to our planet and the, the damage when I'm grown up will be big. If we don't do something now, we will live with this painful regret and all hope will be lost. Ice caps are melting, oceans are rising, and the atmosphere is getting thinner. As the days get hotter, gingers like us are gonna suffer. So we need better sunscreens, and we need to somehow reduce the effects of climate change. If all the wild life disappears, if, and if wildlife dies off, we could, um, we won't have any more wildlife to see when when we when we go out. If the coral dies and then nobody will be able to see all the beautiful fish. If coral is touched by a human, it can die and the leaves won't have beautiful fish anymore. It cut down too many trees then we won't be able to breathe. Help us with oxygen and plants. And what we breathe out is what they breathe in. What, they, what we breathe in is what they breathe out. One of my biggest concerns about our Earth is fast fashion because not many people know about it and it's a huge, it's, it's, con it's contributing to a huge part of the pollution of our Earth. And the trends are going fast and we're getting, bringing in the new and getting rid of the old, and it's a huge waste. What concerns me most is that the beauty of the earth goes away because of the actions, because of the actions of humanity. What concerns me the most is that people are going to chop down every tree and we'll lose all of our oxygen. <laughs> that means I mean, do we have a cycle? Thank you, those are some very relevant concerns. Now, here's a video from Guadalupe showing what actions Tradewinds has been taking to reduce our environmental footprint and protect our planet. 
Hi everyone, we love having this opportunity to share with you what the Tradewinds crews do to help protect the planet. Oh hey Anna, what are you doing? I'm eco-friendly cleaning. What do you mean by that? Well, a lot of the chemical products we use for cleaning are very harmful for the environment and our bodies. So on Tradewinds we are using uh, products such as vinegar, alcohol, lemongrass, essential oil. We mix them together and we make our own cleaning products that are very respectful with the environment and uh, help us protect the marine life. For many years we've been mindful of single-use plastics, which is why we have things such as reusable shopping bags, refillable water bottles for all of our guests on vacation, and wherever we are able to, we make the conscious choice to recycle. You won't find any plastic straws in our boats, however if you really do enjoy a straw in your cocktail, then there are plenty of eco-friendly alternatives. By storing all of our goodies in jars and reusable containers on board, who dramatically reduced our use of aluminium foil and cling wrap. Every day we make choices to reduce our impact on the environment, just like I know you do at home. Cheers. Trade bins, we take around the news to use local produce. So, like sugar from Marie Galance, local co coffee from Guadeloupe, eggs from our local egg producer, and some Guadeloupe bananas from our banana bread. We even have some local beer. This means that we get the freshest and tastiest ingredients for our food. It also means that we have less waste and that we don't import so much, so it's more eco -friendly. We use solar power whilst at sea and turn off fans and lights when they're not in use. Our systems are managed effectively, therefore fuel is used to its optimum, ensuring that marine conservation is always on our mind. That's fantastic, Guada team. Thank you all for sharing that with us. I feel very proud to know that Tradewinds already does so many amazing things to help protect the environment. Now let's check in with the Tradewinds kids. If we all recycle properly, then it will be really good for the planet. Keep the ocean clean. We can protect wildlife to saving the, the wild make sure not cut down that many trees because we're destroying the forest is look i think change always starts at home so reduce reuse recycle uh, keep it close to home stop shrugging your shoulders this concerns you too whilst each of us might not be able to do everything everyone can do something be curious and keep learning. To plant stuff, plant stuff and keep it clean. But something we can all do to protect our plants is to keep on planting trees. One thing we can all do to help protect our planet is stop using cars and other vehicles that use fossil fuels and, and maybe switch to electric cars. We need a lot of trees for all the animals to live in. One thing we can do to help the earth would be to grow your own vegetables, would to be recycle more, save energy, and eat local. What I want to see a change in the world is people stop talking and more doing. There are so many activists giving inspirational speeches. So stop planning and more executing. We can teach each other that we don't need a lot of stuff to be happy and have love. Next on Castle! Next on Castle! What are your thoughts of what we can do? 
we can definitely cut down on our plastic use, like stop using plastic bags in the supermarkets and pick items that are not plastic wrapped. Think of going instead for items in glass or perhaps paper bags. Wow, Sam, all of the Tradewinds kids are wonderful. I am so proud of everyone at Tradewinds for coming together to create this Earth Day video. Thank you, Mom. As you can see, we all love our planet. And we are sitting here, right here, right now, talking about what actions Tradewinds currently takes. But what is next? What do we have in store for us? Such an important question. At Tradewinds, we're continually reviewing how we behave in the world, especially from a sustainability perspective. Into the future, we are fully committed to exploring green technologies and have made the big decision to invest in environmentally friendly yachts powered by renewable energy sources which are better suited to protect the planet long term. Long before the onset of the coronavirus, we've been in passionate discussions with all of our staff about the introduction of silent electrically powered yachts. Yachts that will give you all the comforts without the destructive side effects of excessive carbon dioxide emissions resulting from fossil fuel burning. We also remain focused on continually working with business partners and suppliers who also share our philosophy on environmental sustainability. In the end, we will always strive to ensure the safety, health and happiness of our extended Tradewinds family. No matter how big or how small the changes are, if we all take action now, we will see the results. Within our company, we genuinely believe that we should be the change that we want to see in the world. Bye bye. Au revoir. A bientôt. Bye. 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 Thank you so much for watching. We would love to hear more from you. Your opinions matter to us. So, in the comments below, please share with us your ideas for action to better help protect the planet. Also, please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you will be notified every time we post a new video. And also, remember to follow us across all other social media platforms as well. Thank you.